It has been a difficult business year for everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic affecting global commodity prices and PNG's extractive resources sector experiencing challenges, particularly with mine operators. The Bank of Papua New Guinea was forced to reduce the indicator lending rate for commercial banks towards the end of the first quarter of the year. And Bank South Pacific has also been a part of that with the aim of providing some form of relief for customers given the effects of the pandemic. Economic activity in some of the various sectors in PNG and around the Pacific where we saw that there was a number of our customers in certain sectors, particularly aviation, hotel accommodation, tourism dependent sectors and we took up some additional provisions in that second quarter. Third quarter that was able to normalise our net profit after tax just around about 220 million kina. The provisions stabilised, still able to get some more uplift from investments in government securities because some of the surplus liquidity which had been released into the market when Bank of PNG reduced its cash reserve requirement, we're able to do some investments in our in government securities to support government. Bank South Pacific has recorded a net profit after tax of 216 million kina in their third quarter financial results, which is a 31.7% increase from the second quarter results. We've also increased our lending for the, this year by almost 150 million kina. And what's interesting there is that total lending is reduced across the board by about 150 million kina which illustrates that BSP has been able to continue to be able to support businesses by lending in more difficult times, whereas other banks have been pulling back and contracting using their risk-based approach to supporting PNG. Given strict COVID-19 related restrictions in recent months and most personal and business banking customers resorting to digital forms of banking, Bank South Pacific had over three quarters of all its customer transactions via digital channels in the third quarter of this year. This is an annual increase of 10% and a rebound of 2.8% post second quarter results which experienced COVID-19 lockdown disruptions. Our digital channels have been able to continue to increase and develop our digital channels introduced our smart app for personal owned customers who can download that app on either Apple or Android to complete processes for a personal owned application which then goes through a centralised approval process. And we're also with our fintech joint venture platform PAC, we're looking to introduce a BSP pay by the end of November. The national government's investment in the micro, small to medium enterprises sector, which the Bank of South Pacific is a partner to, comes at a time when the resource sector of the country is going through some tough challenges in light of the COVID-19 pandemic this year. Dennis Orere, National MTV News.